It looks like we might be on the march again. Wolfpack does it again. So right now, it's just one of the houses, but aloha means hello. <laughs> We're in Hawaii, and let me tell you about HRC 53. That is a resolution that was introduced. That's the Wolfpack resolution to get money out of politics. There's 51 representatives in the House in Hawaii. We had 33 sponsors for our resolution. Oh, wait a minute. That means we won before it even started. Yeah, that's right, because we had more uh, representatives who were sponsoring it. Uh, that we needed for it to pass. That's a pretty good situation. What's funny is I keep getting told that it can't get done, and we're now winning so easily in some places that we don't even have to have a debate. They put it up for a, a unanimous vote, and it got a unanimous vote, 45 nothing. So it doesn't get any more bipartisan than that. Uh, passes easily in the Hawaiian House, 45 to nothing. What happened to we can't get a pass? I don't understand. 45 to nothing seems like, yeah, yeah, we can get a pass. This is calling for an amendment to get money out of politics. It's uh, doing it by calling for a convention through the states. I heard this was impossible. <laughs> now look, at, uh, in Hawaii, we must have had an unbelievable army, right? We've got 20,000 volunteers all over the country. No, wrong. Actually, Hawaii is one of our sm smallest states. We only have five uh, hardcore Wolfpack uh, team leaders there. Now we've got other volunteers I'm going to tell you about in a second, right? Now can five guys really get this done? Well, I already told you they got it done. Look, we still need more help. We need to get it through the Senate in Hawaii. But man, we're on a march, man. Come join us. You think you can't do it? Yeah, of course you can do it. I mean, let me tell you about the guys who did it in this case. By the way, if you want to join us, wolf-pack.com. Winning is awesome. Come and see how it feels, okay? All those guys in Washington sitting there twiddling their thumbs. Oh, golly gee, there's nothing to do. We can get money out of policy. <laughs> nothing you can do. Look, let me show you the guys who got something done about it. Daryl Lawrence, our Wolfpack team leader in uh, in Hawaii. Uh, now, uh, you know what he is? He's an accountant. None of these guys are lobbyists. None of these guys are politicians. He's an accountant and a small business owner. Uh, hey, why'd you get involved, Darren? Dara. Uh, he said, he, quote, I got disgusted into action. I couldn't take it anymore, so he decided to do something about it. He decides to do something, and he does it! And he does it! Okay, here's other guys. Arthur Wentworth, okay? Um, he owns a taco truck in Hawaii. Every time he goes to meet with a representative, he tells them how real, authentic Mexican food he has in his truck. <laughs> These are as real citizens as it gets. This is a citizen revolution happening right now. Greg Schuster, he's a volunteer. He met with Representative Chris Lee, and Chris Lee's like, yeah, you make a good point. Yeah, I'll introduce it. <laughs> that simple, that simple, but I heard it was impossible. Erica O'Brien, a military veteran, mother of three. She decided, you know what, I'm going to put my walking boots on. <laughs> I'm going to go out there, and I'm going to talk to my state representative. Next thing you know, unanimous vote. Last one, Peter Wrighty. He's been uh, going out to the state house and talking with those reps. He even spoke at the he uh, hearing. So let me show you Peter Wrighty, because... As you can see from this video, boy, this guy is a hardened lobbyist. He's been at this for a long, long time. Watch. Uh, my name is Peter Reedy. I am 19 years old from Oahu, Hawaii. Uh, basically, we are here today to talk about the issue of restoring free and fair elections to our country. Um, so uh, I, I joined Wolfpack um, through the Young Turks. I basically started watching that maybe six months to a year or so ago. Um, and. I just realized that the issue was so far-reaching that, you know, if it's not done now, and if we don't do it, Congress isn't going to do it, um, so the power really is through the states. A kid got it done. You can't get it done? Okay, I love these guys. They've never been involved in politics before. You got an account with a, gets together with a mother of three and a, and a young guy and, and a guy who runs a taco truck. And they get historic legislation passed. It's amazing what you do when you try. Wolf-Pack.com, be part of the solution, man. So now let me give you the other volunteers in Hawaii. Felicia Cowden, Mary McHugh, Mike Purvis, Paul Worthley, Ralph Garcia, Richard Doyas, Alex Holler, Dan Marks. Dan Marks is the guy who wrote the letter to the House of Representatives to make sure that they, at the national level, to make sure they count these calls for a convention. He's the one that got it. Them to say, okay, you win, Dan, you're right, Dan. He's from Hawaii, too. We'll count them. For the first time in American history, Dan Marks got them to count these calls for a convention. Okay, I, I want to give you this Margaret Mead quote. This is one of my favorite quotes at Wolfpack. We talk about it all the time. A small group of thoughtful, committed people can change the world. Indeed, it is the only thing that ever has. 
five people who have nothing to do with one another, who've never been involved in politics before, get together because they think that money is corrupting our politics. They know that 96% of Americans agree with them. They just put their boots on, they go talk to their representatives, boom, unanimously passes. I heard it was impossible. What's weird is it's almost easy. Come win with us, wolf-pack.com. All right, now, I also, of course, want to give tremendous credit to the American heroes uh, who wound up introducing this legislation in Hawaii and everybody who does across the country are our new founding fathers because they're bringing democracy back. Timberlake brought sexy back, these guys are bringing democracy back, that's even better, okay? So that's a pretty big thing because then they revitalized the rest of the Constitution. So right now, of course, we have no democracy. Princeton had a study showing over 40 years, public opinion did not affect policy at all at the national level. Isn't that amazing? So we need these guys to be the new founding fathers. So as I told you, Assistant Majority Leader Representative Chris Lee is the one who introduced the resolution in the first place. Uh, so tremendous credit to him. Chair of the Judiciary is Representative Carl Rhodes. Vice Chair of the Judiciary is Representative Joy San Buenaventura. Best I could do. Uh, Marcus Oshiro uh, and Speaker of the House Joe Suki. Uh, all these people were leaders uh, in this movement in Hawaii. They were all wonderful. They all got the job done. Without them, we can't do it. But look, they show you that actually there is democracy at the state level. That if you go talk to your representatives, it, it's shocking. They actually listen to you and then they take action. These guys did it as well. Bless their hearts for representing the overwhelming majority of Hawaii citizens who agree with them. Now let me show you the rest of the representatives who deserve credit here uh, and take a look at all these wonderful people who got it done in Hawaii. <laughs> Come join us! Come join us! Wolf-Pack.com, nothing like winning, baby. Uh, and guess what? When we're fighting for uh, rights of American citizens and having those rights expanded to everybody, uh, and not just to a few limited people, in this case the elite donors. Guess what happens? We always win, we always win. Sometimes it takes a long, long time. But we beat uh, the monarchy in the first place, and we got rights for more people. We uh, beat slavery, we got more rights. We won in civil rights, we won in women's rights, we won in gay rights, we won in every kind of situation where we have expanded liberty and freedom. You know why? The whole point of the country is liberty and freedom. The people who are opposed to that are destined for failure. They're destined to get their ass kicked by us and the new founding fathers. Come join us, wolf-pack.com. Whatever you can do, you want to sign a petition, you want to volunteer, you want to get it done, feel great for the rest of your life that you made a difference. You, want, you can't do that, you want to give money, you want to become a member so that you can support the people who do. Whatever you do, do your patriotic duty. Doesn't matter if you're a Republican, conservative, liberal, or Democrat, or libertarian. We all agree, the money obviously corrupts the politics. Let's end it, let's win.